Hello and welcome to my workshop. So we're going to start building a Jeep Grand Cherokee. We're shooting for a 2017 Trailhawk. The body I'm going to try and build by shaping MDF and then vacuum forming the panels for the majority of that and then filling in and scratch building for the rest. So let's get started. So we're making good progress. I've taken the piece of wood that I have, so a piece of MDF. I've taken a template and glued that to the front, cut the basic shape out, following the lines for the uh, template, and then using a Dremel with a uh, sanding drum and a little uh, rotary ball, I've started to carve in some of the details along the body. The uh, front and the back obviously are tapered in, so instead of trying to build that up with extra wood and then just sanding it back down, what I've done is I've taken the bandsaw and made relief cuts. And you can see those cuts successively along the length. Open the cut up a little bit, fill it full of super glue, close it back up, and then just keep progressing along until you get a nice sweeping bend. You can come back on the front and just sand that down. Now, you know, because this MDF some it had some blowouts, especially when it got to the thinner part right here. But that's okay. I just fill that back in with super glue, sand it back down, and it'll be fine. I've done the same thing for the rear. The most challenging part is not going to be finishing this, which I thought it was going to be. I think the most challenging part is going to make a mirror copy to look exactly like this on the other side. Uh, I think I can do this, but uh, like I said, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge, but I guess we're going to have to get to that, so let's get started.
All right, so the uh, entire driver's side is complete. I, like I see, I've added the top uh, cutout sections for where the windows will sink down in, carved in the lines for the door panels, you know, a lot of the other details, uh, the side skirts and stuff. I was not perfect, but I think for a buck, it's going to work just for, just fine. You know, the plastic will pull into this. Any minor imperfections I can uh, repair on the plastic. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and get the passenger side complete and then work my way around building all the other panels. And then I will do the, the vacuum foot pulling. So I want to, uh, the reason I want to do that is I want to make sure that all the body lines are lining up perfectly and look right together. So I still have a chance to uh, shape these panels until I'm done. So anyway, that's the uh, that's the plan. But until then, we'll see you in the rocks.